hey 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 welcome to my youtube channel if you've been here before then you know who i am and um, thank you for returning and if you haven't been here before then i'm just tasha marie and welcome do you really have to do that mister <laughs> and if you haven't met this little one before this is chewy sat grooming his paws <laughs> bless him you're gonna be in the video today If you can't already tell by the title, today I've got a massive home bargains haul for you. We have recently, the travel restrictions have recently changed um, in the UK, so we're now allowed to travel further. Sorry, I'm getting really distracted by him in the background. <laughs> so yeah, we are now allowed to travel further and we're allowed to go out of our like local areas. We're allowed to travel more than five miles. Um, Home Bargains is literally six miles away from my house. So I haven't gone there since before Christmas. So you were talking like five months ago. So I've really missed this place. So as soon as the restrictions changed, I wasn't worried about going to the pub. I wasn't worried about going shopping. As in, in town, I was more worried about going to Home Bargains. And that's where I've been today. So we went and we have spent £73.95. 95. I don't even think that that will even show. See that? 73 pounds! But, yeah. God knows what he's doing now. What are you doing, mister? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Oh, he's just gonna curl up and look so cute. Anyway, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five massive huge bags to get through. So, I better get on with it instead of yabbing. I will try and tell the prices through out if I can find them on this massive long receipt. So, let's just get straight into it. Let's let him find a nice comfy sub nice comfy spot and then we will start are you finished now you have okay i think we're ready let's go so bag number one is this one right beside me so we have got some monster munch flaming hot there is a third packet somewhere um patrick picked up these he absolutely loves these these were free for a pound, um, so picked up them. I also picked up these. These are the Cheetos Twisted Flaming Hot. I remember these, like when we go on holiday and stuff. Um, I think I've had them in like Turkey. Yeah. So I don't know whether these will taste the same as what they do when you go on holiday, but I've seen them and thought, oh, I want to try them. So I've picked up them. We also picked up two bags of pistachio nuts. Now I'm sorry, but you go to a supermarket and pistachio nuts are like super, super expensive. Is it just me or are they like really expensive? So these were a pound. Whoa. These were a one pound. They were a pound. A pound. Absolutely buzzing about that. So we picked up two bags, one bag each, because otherwise we'd be fighting over them. Picked up them. We also picked up some of these. Super excited to try these. These are the Milka Chocolate Biscuits. Absolutely love them. Well, I say love them. I haven't actually tried them. I love Milka. So, fingers crossed I love them. Patrick picked up these for him. These are called... Coffee pops. Never even seen them before, never even tried them before, but he says they're lovely, so I'm gonna give them a go. Massive bag of sultanas. 
these are for Patrick, if they're gonna load. Yes, these are for Patrick. They are massive. Pat, do you know these are for home baking? Yeah. Perfect oh, for baking. Bacon, isn't it? He's not gonna bake, he's just gonna eat these. But yeah, they're for Patrick. Are they worth a pound? Is that really good? I don't buy raisins or sultan sultanas because, oh, they're disgusting. They're like bogeys. I don't like them. But yeah, he got them. The next item I am super excited about. If you've watched any of my other recent videos, you will know that we have recently just done up our front room and we have got a bright orange wall to the left of me there. It is very, very bright and I love it. But when I seen this in Home Bargains, I gotta get it. Ah, look at that. Look at the colour of this fro. I absolutely love it. It is like a mix between a bright and a burnt orange. It is super, super soft. Um, it is 130 centimetres times 170 centimetres and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm really, really happy with it absolutely love it goes with the foot room perfect and it was only i believe 6.99 let me just see if i can find it a few moments later yes it was 6.99 which i think is an absolute bargain really for um a, a fro for your sofa or for your bed or wherever you want it for oh i love it Love it, love it, love it. I'm just gonna pop that one there. And that is one bag down. On to the next. Okay. <laughs> I don't even. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my absolute god. What is it? Something's leaked in the bags. Fuck off. I'm gonna need some help. What is it? <gasps> this is gonna be clean. The pink stuff has burst. Oh, is my bag. Can you get me some wet wipes, please? Gosh, why are you talking to your free? Can you get me some wet wipes, please? Really? Oh, can you see that? Oh my god, focus. Can you hear it, Dad? Oh, the pink stuff has exploded everywhere in the bag. Has it actually gone everywhere? Oh though? my god, I don't know. I can't quite <coughs> see yet. Or are you over exaggerating? Probably. <coughs> okay, so, had a little clean up. I think it only went on one thing. Okay? Right. Yeah, so I think it only went on a couple of things, so I think we are safe. So what I was trying to show you was this. How cool. So this is a little massager. It's a body head to toe massager. Ah. I don't really know why we bought it. It was 99p. I tried it on Patrick's back and it felt really nice, he said. So I made him try it on my back and it was really nice, so we bought it. That looks a bit dodgy. But yeah, so we picked up this for 99p. I don't know. And then, as you all seen, I picked up some pink stuff, which is all over my bag. But yeah, love this stuff. Statement item for the kitchen. This is the cream cleaner. I have got some of her stuff in the bag, but we'll come across that in a minute. But yeah, so this is the pink stuff. Love using that. So I'm really excited about this next item. This is the Fabulosa Foam Freshener. And I got this in Unicorn Dust. Um, is it going to focus? Is, um, this is great to be used on your carpets, rugs, and upholstery. It eliminates odors and leaves a fresh, clean smell and fragrance. Um, it's quick drying. It eliminates odors from pets, cooking, and tobacco and it is safe to be used around pets there is no need to vacuum 
um yeah so it's basically like a room freshener um <laughs> and you just lit seriously man do you want to come down come here so yeah i got this because i don't actually have any carpets in the flat but we have got a couple of rugs um which chewy has got a habit of when he eats and when he drinks he will run straight over to the rug and rub his face into the rug probably normal dog behavior i don't know chewy is our first dog that we've ever had so is that normal if you've got a dog let me know in the comments is that normal or does chewy like ruining my rugs <laughs> But yeah, so I picked up this to spray on the rugs and I thought maybe just do it of an evening or when we're going out for a walk so then it's nice and fresh when we come back and Chewy's not obviously in the building when I'm spraying it, um, even though it is actually safe for um, dogs. But yeah, so I picked up that one to try, which I'm really excited about trying. I have also picked up these multi-surface wipes um this antibacterial mighty surface wipes in citrus and these were like 79p um and i just thought that i know that they're wipes and i know i shouldn't really be using them but they're just easy quick and easy for whenever i need them i needed them just a minute ago actually when that pink stuff went everywhere <laughs> but yes yeah, so i picked up these um excited to use them ones also picked up my trusty dismatic refills these are essential it says essentials on it they are essential I absolutely love my Dismatics, so yeah. Always make sure I've got a load of them in the cupboard. I've also picked up some bleach. I'm pretty sure there was another one somewhere in here, but these were like 29p or maybe maybe 39p. So I picked up a couple of these because these are handy for when doing the kitchen and um, not doing the kitchen when cleaning the bathroom and the toilet. And um, so I picked up one of them. I'm gonna leave that one for a minute. Um, then I've also picked up a just a fairy washing up liquid. This is in pomegranate flavour. Just picked up this, I think it was something like 89p. And um, we're running low on fairy washing up liquid, so I just picked up that. This is our absolute favourite at the moment. This is the two in one um bold with Lenore freshness. It's just in the summer breeze scent. And it is the gel, and oh my god, I cannot explain to you how amazing this stuff is. Literally, oh, it smells so good. And I actually just recently bought one of these in Morrison's, literally about three days ago, and it cost me five pound. It's the same size, and it cost me five pound. However, in Home Bargains, this was three ninety nine. Was it three ninety nine or two ninety nine? Okay, they were actually £1.99, but the pot is like the size of my head. I'm super impressed with how good they smell. They smell really good. So, yeah, really excited to try these ones and lavender. Hopefully it helped me sleep. But, yeah, picked up that. I also picked up these eyelashes, these false eyelashes. These were £1.29, um, and they just look really fluffy, and I really like the look of them, so... I'm really excited to try them. I'm not very good with eyelashes and I've never got the patience to actually do them. But I thought I would give these a go. So yeah, we'll see how they go. Fingers crossed I can actually do them. So I picked up them. And another bag down. On to the next. Okay, so the first thing we have in this bag is a pears translucent soap and i've actually bought this and i'm going to buy some eyebrow brushes so i can do my eyebrows i know i'm gonna use the soap to um oh what's it called to laminate my eyebrows to make them um look a bit more fluffier um, to look them, to make them stand up a little bit. I've seen loads of people use this soap on um, Instagram and on TikTok, so I'm really excited to try it. And I found it, and it was literally like 49p. Yeah, it was 49p. 
So even if it doesn't work and it goes terribly wrong, I haven't lost anything 49p. So yeah, really excited to try that. Um, yeah, we'll give it a go. Also picked up some kitchen roll. Also picked up some kitchen roll. This was £1.29 and I don't actually use kitchen roll. Why did we buy kitchen roll, Pat? <laughs> no comment. Why did we buy kitchen roll, Patrick? No comment. He's no commenting because we don't ever use kitchen roll. It's just one of those things that I just never used it, never bought it, don't use it for the kitchen. So you say, why has she bought kitchen roll then? Because Patrick has recently just bought a tattoo gun machine okay a tattoo machine he has recently just bought a tattoo machine yeah i know and he needs some kitchen roll to be able to take the to rub the ink what's it what's it for it's sanitary you know a bit of what a bit, you know a bit more sanitary isn't it? that's the word isn't it? i haven't got a clue anyway sanitary. he needed it for when he uses his tattoo gun machine. oh my god his tattoo machine. Why do I keep saying gun? I'm not going to shoot you with it, am I? <laughs> right, anyway. Yeah, so that's why we've got that, okay? This is like a long-winded story about why we have toilet. I mean, kitchen roll. But now you know. <sighs> um, next in this bag we have some of this pink blossom harpic active fresh for the toilet and um, i normally use the pine one but oh oh that one sounds good yeah like i said i normally use the pine one but i seen this one and thought oh i like the color of that one so i'm gonna try that one 99p can't go wrong and i've also picked up the flash bathroom um, spray. I normally buy the Flash Bleach one, but I've seen this and it has got Febreze freshness in it and I thought um, I'd give it a go. Again, 99p. I picked up this Flash Floor Cleaner and it is for pet lovers. So it um, removes up to 100% of pet odours and messes and it is safe for homes with pets. So I've um, recently obviously been been obviously well i say recently i've always mopped my floors but um when i mop my floors i just use normal floor cleaner and obviously recently with chewy i thought hmm, maybe it's a bit i should get something that's more pet safe um so i've seen this so i picked this up to try i don't actually know what it smells like oh it smells quite nice actually so um i'll probably give that a try tomorrow and see what it's like but it's just nice to know that you can put something down on your floors and it's safe for your dogs or cats um so yeah picked up that I'm reaching over now. So what else have we got in this bag? I'm gonna bring it over here. We have got a hairbrush. This is for Patrick. Um he uses my hairdress hairbrush and it drives me crazy. So it's got his own and it was something like 50p. So love that. We also picked up some squashies drumstick squashies raspberry and milk shower and bath cream this stuff smells phenomenal love it so yeah love that and look how big that is as well and it's something like 79p so that's really good patrick pissed pissed <laughs> patrick picked up this um i'm not quite sure what it is i don't no, it is a foaming clay cleanser. No, I picked it off because of TikTok. I've seen some guy, some dermatologist. You picked it up because of TikTok? Yeah, it's There's me thinking he knows what it is, what he's going to use it for. And no, it's because he's been watching bloody TikTok. Yeah. Why, what? It's what is it? It's got silicic acid in it. It's meant to be good for your skin and spots. And this was what? How much was this? Like 199? 125. 125. So, this is what he's got. Has anybody used it? Is it any good? Has he been scammed? Has TikTok scammed Patrick? Let me know in the comments. Have we'll you used this? We'll do it before and after. <laughs> oh, here he goes. Oh, dear. 
And next we have a sour cherries. Oh, why does that look like it's leaked? Oh no, I think it's just got a bit of rubbish on it, whatever. Um, a sour cherries slush puppy drink. Oh no, it is. I don't know what that is. I don't tell me something else is leaked. Hmm. Anyway, it is a slush puppy sour cherries um, drink. You need to put these in the freezer to freeze. So you freeze, squeeze and drink. Um, Patrick really likes these, so he's picked up one of these. We have also got a Coleman's mint sauce. Ooh. But Patrick, lo oh. Patrick loves mint sauce on a roast. So he has picked up one of these. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Another bag. Complete you. We're getting to the end, guys. We're getting to the end. Okay, so next we have this little fake plant, 99p, how bloody cute is that? Not very funny, that looks more expensive than 99p and that is going to look really, really cute in our foot room. I don't know why I'm talking like that, in our foot room. <laughs> but yeah, so for 99p, absolutely love that. Got to find a little home for it on the TV stand there. Okay, the next few items, the next quite a lot of items, are alcohol based. We have got a thing, we're having a cheeky little cider in the evening at the moment. Um, and you can get all types of different ciders at Home Bargains. So you get them individually and they're like, like a pound each. So we picked up some to try. We have got the Brothers Palmer Violet. This is for me, I have tried this before and it is beautiful. If you like sweet stuff and you like cider, I highly recommend trying this. Really, really nice. So I picked up, I think I picked up a couple bottles of them. Yeah, I picked up three. So I picked up three bottles of them. Patrick picked up one of the Hooper's Classic Cherry, yeah, Classic Cherry Aid alcoholic drinks um, to try. I'm sorry, but how cute is that? Yeah, this is, I don't actually know what this is, but it's an alcoholic cherry aid. I'm really excited to try that. He doesn't know it yet, but I'm gonna try some of that. We also picked up, the, oh, these ones are Patrick's. These are just the Copperberg um, mixed fruits. He picked up a couple of these to try. And I also picked up one of the Copperberg Rosés. I've never tried these before and they just look really nice. Um, so it's basically a rosé apple cider. Um, so I'm going to give that a try. And then Patrick picked up one of these. A juicy Indian pale ale with tropical notes. Never ever tried it. Um, but again, looks really yummy. And it's got a really cool can. It's got like a... Really, can you... I don't know if you can see the type of can it is but anyway it's really cool so he picked up one of them to try and then oh look there's that other packet of Munster Munch I was telling you about earlier we also picked up some Mikadoos or Mika, Mikadu I'm not quite sure how you pronounce them but oh excuse me I'm not quite sure how you pronounce them, but I'm sure it's Mikadu um, and Patrick picked up these. We also then picked up a couple of energy drinks. Um, naughty, I know, but we did. I picked up one of these, which are like 49p and give me a breast of energy. Um, Patrick picked up his favorite monster can and I just picked up one of these um, cheap bo these cheap cans. Um, yeah. Another bag, completely Right, on to the last bag, and then I've just got a couple of other items that I want to show you um, before we end. So I picked up these bath and body, um, what are these called? Sponges, I absolutely love these, and these are like 49p from Home Bargains. They are a bargain! 
so and I always always use these so yeah absolutely love these bargain there, actually. big packet of walkers cheese and onion my favorite walkers ever so yeah 99p couldn't resist them oh here's that second bottle of bleach i was telling you about oh this i was really excited about actually so this is a bottle a massive bottle of fabulosa if you can see this does it tell me how big the bottle is no it doesn't actually tell me how big the bottle is this is the um pet fabulosa so it is obviously safe for pets it is in the blueberry and cranberry whoa and it smells amazing basically i absolutely love using sephora and um yeah not a lot of them are pet friendly and obviously we have a little chew dog around now so i don't want to be putting these everywhere um so the places that i know that he's going to be around or near throughout the day then i will make sure that i use the pet friendly ones so yeah really excited to try this and this was a really big bottle and it was like 99p so excited to give that one a go and then let's i'm just going to show you a couple more items before we go on to the items that we got for chewy um only because oh hang on only because that's all just dog related then so i'm just going to show you a few other items before we go on to that i have picked up these so there's oh my so this is a set of three woven woven yeah woven paper storage boxes uh, basically like i said earlier on if you've watched my channel recently you will know that me and patrick have recently decorated the foot room and we have got um two like tv stands underneath our tv and we've got like gaps underneath um and just basically for these would be really handy to be put to put in the gaps um just to give us a little bit more storage in the room and just to make i like i just love this and it matches with everything that we have in the foot room at the moment and these were 3.99 like i think that is really really good so i'm just going to get this out so you get two of these little ones which are a fair good size they're about the size of my head and that's pretty big so you get two of these um like i said which is a really good size they were really sturdy i'm really happy with them and then you get a massive one i just think it's ideal i love that you can't see in it so you can got you've got like obviously places to put storage you could put your remote controls in there you could literally put anything in there and it would be ideal for you to buy your tv stand it just means that i can shove things in there hide it away and nobody even knows it's there and it still looks nice um but i just thought these would look really nice side by side underneath um, my little cabinet there so we'll see how that goes but yeah picked up them for 3.99 i'm really really pleased with them absolute bargain i think and then also we picked up this can you see it's upside down we also picked up this this is literally just a plastic drawer set and four drawers don't know why i'm opening all the drawers for you um absolute little bargain and how much was this i don't think it was that expensive if i remember rightly pounds 3.99 oh was that for six pound it was 3.99 so basically yeah it is a four drawer plastic storage it's it's sturdy it's sturdy enough yeah okay it's not beautiful it doesn't look very nice but it's for um all patrick's little bits and bobs and um, what are you planning on putting in it like my soldering iron and all that so he's got like a little soldering iron it's got like loads of little bits and stuff so he's gonna like stack it all in that and just pop it in the bedroom hopefully out show but yeah i just thought this is quite handy well patrick's seen it actually and he was like oh i could make some use of that and 3.99 i think that's pretty good pretty good so yeah picked up that 
so pop that one to the side and i think that is everything that we've got that isn't dog related so the next couple of items are for chew dog he's fast asleep bless him so the first item that we got for chewy is this and i'm so excited about it this is the watermelon cooling mat helps keep your pet cool so as you can see can you see that Basically, it is approximately 65 centimetres. Cool down to your pet body. It cools down your pet body's temperature. There is no need to refrigerate. It is light and durable and it is non-toxic. And this here was $4.99. I just thought it would be perfect for the summer. I know that we don't get like ridiculously hot weather in the summer, but when we get in the 20s, that is quite hot. Um, and Chewy has quite a lot of fur, not at all times, but um, once he, his hair starts to grow back before he goes to the groomers, he does have quite a bit of hair, and we just thought something like this may help um, in the summer, just to keep him cool. Um, if we ever go anywhere, or we pop to the beach, or in the garden, or just, just chilling outside, or even indoors as well. It's gonna be very, well, potentially could be very warm in the summer. Fingers crossed we have a good summer. If we do, we're all prepared and we've got a little cool mat for our chew dog. And it's so bloody cute. Look at it. He's going to look like the bee's knees sat in that. He's looking at me like, what the hell? So, yeah, picked up that. I'm actually afraid to get these next items out of the bag. Because if he sees them, he might get a little bit excited. So, next we've got these chicken and rice got a whisper because these are actually Chewy's favourite. He loves dumbbells and we've seen these chicken and rice ones so we thought we would pick these up for him to try. Can you see? Let it's these chicken and rice dumbbells. I think he's going to absolutely love these. So we picked up these for him to try. We also picked up two packets of these Tasty Minis and these are the beef and cheese flavour. These here are absolutely fantastic for when we are out walking with Dewey. Um, they're handy to just have a bag in our coat pocket and um, when we're recalling him and he comes back to us, just to give him a little treat, just to remind him that we're well, well done that he's come back to us basically. <laughs> No, because obviously we haven't had Chewy for a very long time. We've had him for roughly about five months now. So um, he has finally learned how voice is. He has finally learned to recall, but only with these. So it is, um, yeah, it's a learning curve, but we're getting there. So these are really, really handy. So I picked up two packets of them. We also picked up a massive bag of these meaty, chewy chicken twists. Um, Chewy absolutely loves these. We have bought the big ones as well because he loves them. Um, these are just handy as a nice little treat, a nice little snack, and he loves them. So as well as them ones, we did also buy the massive ones. These are huge and they are the Jumbo Meaty Chewy Chicken Twist. And like I said, Chewy loves these. So in a normal supermarket, these are like two pound, two pound fifty sometimes even three pound a pound at home bargains a pound we did we did pick up a few just to go in the cupboard into his little um food box just so we got them there handy and while they're a pound it's it's bargain so yeah that is everything that we picked up for chewy i think yes that's everything yeah so and he's looking at me now like i want one bless him but yes that's everything that we picked up in home bargains hope you enjoyed the haul can't believe how much stuff i've got i can't believe we spent 73 pound unbelievable unbelievable but yeah thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give me a like and if you're not already please subscribe i would be forever grateful don't forget to give me a comment in the comment section because i love having a little chit chat with you look at all that stuff it's crazy crazy 
But yeah, I'm so pleased that I was able to get to Helm Bargains. My absolute favourite place ever. Can't wait to get back there already. Really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.